let's talk about hot lead pouring and juggling, specifically on pinnacles. When we built this pinnacle a couple of years ago, the top four or five courses of stones were fixed in place with a dowel, which was then locked in place with molten lead. So I'm gonna go back to the yard and show you guys how we do our lead pouring and how we lock our top stones of the pinnacles in place with joggles and lead. These are our joggles. So we've used a cross shape here. You can get all kinds of different shapes and sizes of joggles, but we use uh, this cross shaped one. So these two stones that are our example piece, um, the cross is cut in the top and the bottom of this stone and in the top of this stone. And then what we'll do is, because there's a hole drilled all the way through, a rod will be slid through there and then hot lead will be poured in and the hot lead will fill the joggles at the top and bottom of these stones and it'll fill this joggle, locking the bar in place and locking the stones in place. And here's one we made earlier. So this is a demonstration piece that we use that we've cut away so you can see where the lead has filled the joggles. So this stone has had a joggle cut in the top, this one has had one cut in the bottom and in the top. A bronze dowel has been put through and as the hot lead has poured in, it's locked those stones in place. This stops the stones from moving that way and also stops them from twisting. We use a phosphor bronze dowel because it doesn't oxidize and expand the way iron does. We struggle with a lot of iron in our building that was put in by the Victorians, which causes quite a lot of damage. The phosphor bronze is also less likely to react with the lead over time because we need our pinnacles to last for hundreds of years. We're going to be doing a demonstration of hot lead pouring here today in the yard. So through the beauty of editing, you can see that right now. Yes, yes. 